<laughs> hello, hello, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. Chapter 8, Riverside Institute. I put my camera here to not cover the text of the items, and now I'm covering the, this text, but whatever, I can't read this at least. In the nameless bookstore, Pierce traced the trail of an attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller safe to find what the letter and Sarah Hawkins had hidden there. A book covering human skin lied inside, irresistibly attracted the detective. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. What? Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what oh, I can Oh, we are. Do. We are Marie Mr. Colden. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. <clears throat> okay, regarding the patient, examine the patient. How is, has he been drugged? Call Dr. Fuller. And that's Fitzroy is there, uh, as well there. Interesting. This is, uh, Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, doctor. Not me, not This anyone. is the same nurse that injected us, no? Our stock is empty yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Uh, no idea, bro. Examine the patient. Mm. Very well. I'll examine him. Yeah. What's wrong with you, mate? 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. Ugh. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight Give him my glass of water or something. The skin, tender at the touch, slightly sticky. You. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. It doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. Oh, fuck! So, doctor, an opinion? Uh, I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. He has an alien Your inside him. worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. He's becoming a xenomorph. his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Uh, he has something in his belly. The state of his limbs is worrisome. He's severely dehydrated. I think this is the less of the uh, concerns, no? Let's start from the from, from the wor most worrisome. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something. Let's cut it open. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? Extract no. the parasite. He's pregnant. Edema? Pushing with your <laughs> finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. Urgent. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. Oh. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet... If there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What, what? about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem Is the guy from the Fantastic Four? He's made of jelly. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Guys, nice. are you thinking the same I'm thinking? I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. 
I've even gone beyond the recommended dose. To He's turned into a gummy bear. And you won't believe me, but when we Checks. bathed him earlier, he Sir, seemed to feel better. We have bad news. Yes. We're gonna have to eat you. Like he needs an aquarium, ah. not a perfusion. But let's, that let's, doesn't explain. Let's have a condition. bite of him. Let's see how he tastes. His body is mutating. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extra. Papa, you are a meme. No. This you all are a meme. Certified meme. Our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations, and this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Bro can't have cope. Gotten such an infection. I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Oh. Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your <laughs> insinuation. Whoever is asserted by me. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Homemade drug? Those people are not your guinea pigs. Sounds like me. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? I'm gonna tell you. These symptoms are worrisome. I've never seen anything like this. You're turning him into a monster! Now, we have to be sad though, guys. Otherwise, he's gonna suspect about us, and that's not good, you know? We have to make him think we are on his side. And then we backstab him! <laughs> These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? You have to consider the possibility I'm that he convinced. knows you see, what is happening already. I think this man has a strong and chance because of, him. of completely healing from his ailments. No, doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. I mean, after seeing Charles Hawkins, characteristics, they are more animal do I need to explain human. it? Do I need to say anything more? Fascinating. I don't think so. An animal, you say. I don't trust his glasses. Be more precise. Cephalopod, perhaps. He's playing dumb. This amuses you. Yep. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this Does this sound a bit French to you guys? Overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their oui, oui. life, but the world isn't ready yet. No good person has blackout it glasses will be like that. In time, I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Okay. okay. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. I'm just realizing. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Hidden files are proof. Nobody mentioned crimes for now. Stay out of this. Oh! Uh, do we trust this nurse? I think we do trust her, no? But at the same time, I don't want to reveal my full plans. Hmm. Let's do this on our own. No, we need her help. Fuck it. Oh, that evidence exists. Let's say it. I'm sure. Let's, it. let's tell her. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? <laughs> I'd rather not think. <laughs> the animations about that. are so goofy. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You better keep You can count on me. I'll keep Mom. Okay, okay. Okay. What is this? An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Try it out! Okay, so we need to... Sneak inside the Fuller's office and get the, the, the medical files he's hiding. Hmm. This place draws you in and never lets you go. Let's see if we can manage that. I security unit. So we are. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. 
I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so Now uh, we're playing as Marie because peace touched the book. So we're like reliving her memories or something. That's weird, no? Now, what's this nurse talking about? Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Right. Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse oh, to belittle me. Hang in there. Why go through her? I mean, I think Mrs. Donovan is like the... Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. We're lacking in qualified personnel, and she knows it. <clears throat> She's the head nurse or something, maybe. The... Won't the... I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's Director. Just... Sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. <sighs> Her no, that was me, sorry. Too precious for these kind of petty games. Anyway, I've learned my lesson. I'll hold my tongue next time. No, curse it there. Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. I got you. I got you. What is this? Sorry, I'm just it's temperamental, if I understand correctly. <clears throat> oh, so that's the water. Oh. Uh. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm just going, you know. Ooh. We can play maybe an audio there. So guys, you have to play a spooky game yourselves, okay? I cannot be the only one here. Not fair. Reference book of medical sciences. Um. Gonna be opening doors until I run into something I cannot open. Boiler room? Is that where the pipe goes? Oh, it does. No wheel? Mm, I need to buy stuff for the wheel. I'll buy it tomorrow. I ran out of candy and I don't have. I want to do shots, but like mixed, you know? Not the, on the run anymore. Like, like drinking. Wait, can I go? Wait a minute. Oh. Where do you think you're going? Oh, this going? is the other one. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. <clears throat> Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. So Thank she's you. guarding the door. I will tell him, nonetheless. She's guarding the door. Okay, we have secondary objective. Distract Donovan, cut off the water. A main objective, get into a Fuller's officer. Okay, so what a... Hmm. What if we cut the water and then... Elizabeth gets the door to the boiler room is locked. I have to get the key if I wish to get rid of Donovan. Okay, pharmacy. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And you already did two of them. Which ones did you do? Dot? The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Oh, listen to the way. Bro's dragging everyone. Naughty girl. Naughty girl. <laughs> Uomo delinquente. Oh yeah, I, I heard about this. And the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets her try to catch body. criminals by their morphology. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. For a while. We have no medicines. See the next time the we have a out. lamp or something? It's a real show. I don't think so. Okay, so how do I? Hmm, I guess we have to explore a bit more. Yep. Medicine and secret sciences. Okay. Secret science is more like all bullshit. <laughs> I understand. When people are desperate and watch out for the water, leave. doctor. Oh, my bad, my bad. Who the f someone is crying. 
Ooh. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Uh oh. Does that mean we're gonna transform as well? What's up, boys? Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything Yeah, a little since. bit of a doctor I'm duty, sorry. guys. Dr. Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know? And we can't even see her medical file. I'll examine her myself. Leave this. I didn't hear anything. Don't worry. Yeah, we have to do the mission as as we keep our job, you know? But your mother is in good hands. Is it? I'll tend to her myself. Is she? And keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. Okay. But those are just words. So we're not budging. Very well. Smart. At least I'll know where to find you. So we need to find your mom. Your Doctor, mama. Please. Uh, my chest. Sorry. Oh. Your family is not here. They don't care about you. No, <laughs> let's see if I can do anything for this guy. Oh, he's freaking shaking. His perfusion of a semi-physiological. You need a blanket or something, doesn't man. Doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. This is fucking die. He's just angry. Nurse, Deborah, come and help. Are we constipated or His both? His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'm sorry, I'll get you a doctor. Right but man, you are a doctor. Thank you. He's in your hands. <laughs> Any doctors in the room? Oh, sorry. About... He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. I like it, bro. Oh, so there's Harding. Oh, so this is the mom. She's still sleeping. He's Given fine. Her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Oh. Ooh. Bro, back in the 1920s when hospital hygiene was like this, you know? <laughs> Shit. You have more chances. Oh. Key to the boiler room. The key to the boiler room. Okay. All I have to do is shut off the water. And hope Donovan takes the bait. Don't spoil me! Bro, bro is... Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Nice. He baby, bro. He heat and I heat. Too much, though. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Insomniac? He's living so well. Better than me. What do you mean? Okay. You take care of that guy. The only solution they have probably. That's rude. Okay, let's talk to these people. It's a quiet little town. True. Days go by, steady as ever. Oh, Bradley's here. For myself, but... Who asked? I mean, that was real. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patience here. True. Where did my fiance go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Uh, who's your fiance? <laughs> Is it the least of it? Please don't tell me, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, hello. So they told us Marie and Bradley were like, no? Oh, together? Ethan. Marie, I. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Just came here to see me. I've made it. You are a bad liar. I'll prescribe you something. We were, we already talked about that. Ooh. Why didn't you come to me instead? Let's do you are a bad liar. You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Mm -hmm. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but the terror is having nightmares. Actually, you're not the only one. No. 
No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. You just fire it seems like an affliction. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. What is happening, guys? Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know just, yet, uh, but I will figure out. Something they put on the water. Everyone in dark water is suffering from nightmares. Really? I'm telling you. We don't have any medication. It's left. the government. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Oh. Hmm. I like how the game gives you little hints through the dialogues and the notes you find. And when you put all the pieces together, it's such a um, horrific puzzle image. Stor storage room. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish Sorry. the inventory. Sorry. My bad, my bad. Is there anything else interesting we can find? In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. I already found it. So we Gucci. This man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. That's us! What did Fuller do to him? That is us! So, my question is, is this all happening while Pierce is uh, on the basement at the, uh, his cell? Cell. At his other room, whatever you want to call it. You know, what's the timeline? The operating line? room is never accessible after an operation. Enjoy. Bro, smoking in the hospital. What the hell? Right, let's go to the boiler room. Cut the water. What the frick? Guys, you need to clean here. The oh, fuck? And then you wonder why everyone's going mad. Oh, no. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Bruh. A tool? That, you have a lot of tools here. Grab one. Ah, uh, where's the tool? Find a tool. That is on the storage room. Bathroom man. Why is the bathroom man but not bathroom woman? Everybody says it. She's the answers she must be heck. hidden in Fuller's office. I didn't make this up. Hey guys, where's the tool? You can hear the call. Oh shit. What's up, Polly? Hmm. Is there any tool here? Oh, she's not here anymore. Oh, there is a. So this nurse is... I can lean, by the way. This nurse is moving from room to room. And we got a wrench. I hope that works. We gaming. Doing good, guys. Doing good. I was spending some time with my... I feel guilty about Elizabeth. But I need the diversion. Okay, so now she's gonna be peace. Spending some time with my niece, playing with her, building some good t towers and stuff. And then I changed my bike uh, wheel. Edited a couple of videos, and here we are continuing this. Uh... Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? <laughs> I was about to mention it. Oops. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet I'm the one who gets punished because I'm just gonna have to all over my keyboard. Off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. I'm gonna sneeze and all over my microphone. For you guys. Okay. Go go tell her. Go tell Donovan. Whoever cut the water. Give mama a home. Oh, well, she's here, no? Okay, so she's... She should not be guarding anymore. Okay, we can enter now. Close. At last. The missing files must be hidden here. We did it, guys. We got to... To the office of Fuller. What a fool. <laughs> Something is wrong with these masts. What the hell? It's some sort of puzzle. Oh, it's a puzzle there. I just just shaking around. 
let me see first i want to do that later but maybe that's the only thing we have to do actually is it possible someone comes here and i had to hide okay let's do this one something is wrong with these masts it's some Rotate. sort of puzzle we have to put all looking to the front oh i think we got it i've unlocked something patient files i was right <gasps> he's hiding them sarah hawkins interview hell hey, hey no way okay i'm interested in this conclusions session number 17. patient sarah hawkins the patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. We have to do reconstruction. Or maybe this hidden stuff. Is there a shoe from the fire, no? It's the same shoe. Feels here. Why is Ethan on medication? Wait, he is on medication? What the look? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, oh. I presumed that her blood was the key. <coughs> but I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins. Sarah seems more like, not like a physical condition, but more like a mental condition, no? So. It's been more a therapy than a doctor. downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I rate that Charles was keeping secrets from him. Wait, why is Fitzroy here? I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Okay, he knew. I am prepared. This guy is smart. But not so smart to keep me outside his office. Oh! Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? We saw him. We saw him on a picture on the mansion, guys. Remember? The mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. Dude, what? In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Dude, what? Of course, Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Mm -hmm. Husband, doctor, what about Fitzroy? Huh? Hmm, I don't see the full picture to it yet, but I must go back to the basement. It's a beer a bit clear. Uh, so now Maria knows that uh, something is on the basement. No, she knows what's up. Okay, is it? Are they gonna? Are they gonna see me? Go down. I'm just gonna go through the main door. I should go another way. <laughs> okay. We're going down the basement. I hope no one discovers me. Can I just go straight up? Can I just... Can I just... Is Fuller this stupid? He is. So is this when uh, Marie rescued Pierce? Hmm, I'm not sure. Am I gonna have to sneak past the guards or just tell them a little sweet lie? I like how she runs. Oh shit. The red paint. Someone dropped some ketchup. Oh shit. Wait, we could never go this. Ah, now that's the Caught Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh! What the fuck? He's drugged me! Oh, now we're going back to Pierce? 
Oh. What the hell? If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Oh! Around. Oh, this is Drake. Slowly. Friendly, friendly. Tall, filthy, feel. I was swear, shoot. Hey, hey, show. Hey, it was shot. The uh, games and the no. Yeah, punch him. You're going to regret it. I've done nothing wrong. I came to this island to investigate a death and ended up in your shop. How convenient. I'm serious. This guy is in serious. I saw the broken glass. And He's shaking. The path. Oh, never mind. He's the book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Uh, Marie Colin was there. I'm not sure. I saw through someone's eyes. I don't have the occultism master. What do you have to do to get here to this point? I'm not sure. I'll just be honest with her. She went into Fuller's office. She went, like, not, she was looking for Sarah not even Hawkins mentioning her name. <laughs> Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did okay. the Necronomicon choose to show you? You see his tattoos? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No also, one knows that happened after we me. left. You might need my help. Okay, yes. Uh, should, we, should we let him help us? Sure. This guy seems knowledgeable. He has this bookstore. He knows about all this Necronomicon and shit and whatever he said about he, 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 I cannot escape his will or whatever. So, all right, all right. This will affect your I destiny. I might need you after all. Oh shit! Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Okay. Is that now the? Now go. Rescue the doctor. Okay. Okay, man. Thank you, Drake. Okay, so the Marie thing was happening at the same time as Pierce was at the bookstore. Okay, that was like in real time. It was not a flashback or anything. So now she is the one being trapped in the in the Riverside Institute. Okay, Chapter Nine: The book projected Pierce into the body of Doctor Colden. The detective watched helplessly as Bradley friends carried out her inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Fuller, she got into his office and discovered that the director of the Riverside Institute was hiding information on, if not the body of. Sarah Hawkins, but she was discovered by Fuller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. Oh, fuck. Well, she saved us. Now it's our turn. Bro, I hate this fucking place. Okay. Like, we're... Is this Splinter Cell now? I pray that Okay, we're right in the here. office. And alive. Oh. Hey, can I lockpick this? Oh, shit. Oh, Diary of the Pastor Wife, Volume 1. Yeah. An old diary. We found like four of those. Is there any. Oh, oh no, is this gonna be one of these books? Yep. Will you read the book? Always. Ooh, what the hell is this? This looks like a uh, near lot of top. This one in the middle. The dagger again. Is this the shambler? Yeah, it is. And then the elder sign. Okay. Oh. Like, oh, we went crazy. Should we open this? Scylla is here. Like in the vision. Colden came this way. I don't think there is anything else here. Okay. Find Dr. Colden. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. Oh, shit. I must find her. I'm guessing... These guards cannot see us. I mean, they can see us. But we should avoid being detected, basically. I'm trying to find a freaking hiding spot. Oh shit. 
I mean, we can just go to the basement, no? Is this open? Please. Oh, is that noise? What the fuck are you doing here? What? My God. What, what is happening to me? Yo, what is happening? This shambler is here. We're fucked. What is this trail? There's some symbols. Like glyphs. Huh? Huh? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. Guys? What in the... Oh, I had to break... Wait, what? So I have to get there, but through somewhere else? Look at stuff. I think that gives you... My freaking... Light is running off, by the way. Is there oil anywhere? I'm scared. I'm scared. Why is this break? Bro. Bro. I'm gonna I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Guys! I'm going around the boil! Okay. Wait. Oh there is happened. Something has changed, but what? There is two realities. One with this purple lantern and one with the green one. Oh. And this door has the sign, so the other reality is blocked. That's why. So we have to switch between the two. Okay, okay, okay. This is a very weird mechanic, but... I'm trying to... Keep up. So what do you do? This one doesn't have doesn't have oil, so this one I can use it all I want. And not, not everything is dark, so I'm guessing the shambler is on the other reality. Welcome to my reality. The question is, what do I have to do here? Is this blocked? It is blocked. Oh, but maybe now that we open the door and we remove the seal, maybe now we go to the other one and it's gonna be open? Is that how it works? This way. The thing is, with this one you have limited time. Oh, now this is open. Okay, so now we can follow the trail. Increased brightness. Oh, we have to reveal the glyphs. Oh, the Leviathan. Oh. That's how you do it. Okay. Bathroom man. This one is locked. He's around here. Oh shit, this is scary. Let's switch to the other one. Wait, where is the other lantern? It's gone. Yeah, the other lantern is gone. Maybe I go here? Uh, where the fuck am I? Uh, sh let me try this. What door? I'm so confused. <laughs> this is bricked. But that door was blocked on the other dimension. And I'm not even sure I have to go through that door. I mean, we can always go around, no? Or... I have no idea. Let's try. Can I go there through... No, but I need to... I need to remove that... That glyph, I think.
Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't work. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Oh. Oh, that works. Progress. It is trapped. Francis. Poor Francis. I don't want to share his fate. Okay, this one goes. Oh, we can't remove this one now. There you go. Kitchen. I need to I need to get some oil, guys. Do I keep going? Okay, the fire guy may pull you. I can hear it. This is blocked. <laughs> this is scary. Can I get the other lantern? Oh, I'm a, I'm fucked actually. I can get I can get it. Okay. Oof. We have to find a way to remove either that seal on the left or this one. How though? We cannot open that. Can I go around? No. Is there anything here I can use? Nope. Well, it has to be with the other lamp. But how? Okay, we need to hurry. We need to hurry. Can I remove this? Oh, I can't remove this one. Okay, okay. Okay. What the fuck? Ah! He's there. Don't tell me he's gonna be patrolling around and shit. Oh. Oh. We have to go that way. What is this? Can I recharge here? I'm full oil. What is... We're tripping so hard. What? Oh! There you go. You are confronting powers that surpass you. Drake knows what's up, no? He's very versed on the occult. So now we can remove this glyph. Over here. He's behind that wall. All right, another wall, guys. I need to hurry. I can hear all the noises and shit. Bro. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Run back! Guys. I'm not sure if... Let me go with the other lamp. Because I'm not sure if I could do anything there. Oh, how the card comes me chill. I'm not sure. Is there anything we could do with this other lamp? Oh, that door. That door. And now we have to follow the trail with the green lamp. Okay, I'm surprised I'm doing this well because this part of the game is very confusing. But, uh, and they don't, they don't explain to you shit. But I guess you have to figure, figure it out on the go. Okay. 
And if I hurry, should be good. Why do I keep hearing the freaking monster? It's like behind me or something. Whoa! Fuck! Bruh. You're trolling me. You're, f You're fucking trolling me, no? <sighs> what a freaking jump scare. So now we can go to the basement. It looks like things are back to normal. Oh. Okay, we did it, guys. We did it. Colvin! I'm coming for you! I'm still so confused about Bradley, by the way. Is he alive? Is he dead? Is he, are they tricking us? Okay, what did what did I go that way? By the way, I could have go over here, no? Probably it's close. Yeah. So we have to go where they took her. Oh. Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Yo. It's an infinite What's port. going on? It never ends. Run. Commit. Commit to one side. Oh, that's me. Damnation. That's that's me. Oh shit! I'm inside the room now. Oh, I'm going crazy. I'm losing my mind. But by the walls. Arr. Break them. Oh. Oh, that's Marie. Marie! I'm coming! Pierce, I found her. I finally know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? What's going on? Was it a hallucination? Everything is a hallucination. You are reality. Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. What are you doing to her, monster? What the fuck? Did you kill her? No, it can't be. No, you son of a bitch. What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. Ooh. Fuck your glasses. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Murder! This madness must stop. Hold up. Let's bring it to justice. Oh! She was alive? What is happening? Holden? Uh, uh, huh? My guy. Check her pulse. What is Fuller? 
Nice. <laughs> I don't know if... Can you be a good detective while you're tripping balls? Oh. Painting. Someone's there. Sara is alive. What did they do to you? He's fucking crazy, no? Can you speak? Oh, his son's her son's toy. Not about Sarah. So how long has she been here? What the hell? He gave him the gold and I the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? <laughs> I'm here, but no, no. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No, no. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. The hell? What the hell is this? Valid S San requirements. What is this? Who? <laughs> I talked to him. You are not exactly a prisoner. What should we say, guys? Should I talk with this language? I'm not sure. Is there any way you can like translate this or know enough to know what it means? Let's go with eloquence professional. He told me to get you out of here. I can tell a lie when I hear one. Ooh. Well, I don't give a damn who you're talking about. We go now. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? You painted me. Maybe. That Let's I know. Go. Where well, you have seen me in your dreams? It was in your studio. Yeah, look at her room. You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. This is so cool. This is literally like the men in white are coming. You mean the guards? The first chapter way, of the book. Follow me. Covers this quite well. Follow you? No, you follow me, lady. What the? Oh no. Oh shit, the guards. Hey. Run. Run, Sarah. Sarah, run. Come out of your hiding hole. Go, 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 go. Faster. 
Oh, we did it. Close the door. Okay. <laughs> Convenient plank. Wait. The machine. What machine? It's the green. The decaying one. The gas. Yes. Mm. It's not good for living beings. We don't know have this. time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking break the machine. So this is where the gas is coming from. Oh. Very interesting. How do I break it though? This is an elevator? Okay. Turn it off! I'd be better off finding a tool. Classic. Any tools? Oh, perfect. Ogre. Let's get it. Oh, bro! I don't want to breathe All that right. myself. That should do it. Let's move. Uh oh, oh, that's Charles. This music is so Leave good. her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Uh oh. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. Oh. Shit. Okay, at least he didn't throw me to the fire. Oh, we're gonna have a conversation here? Or what? Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? Uh, uh, uh you are incapable of protecting her. You won't kill me. You have no future with her. Okay, let's go with this. Safety was throwing her in this rat hole. <coughs> I'm not sure about that. I hid her well enough. <laughs> you let Fuller play with her. Stop. No, you stop. I did everything I could to protect her, but her identity, her power is what threatens her. <laughs> what? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Like a seer, huh? Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Uh, doesn't matter. She has been trapped here for months. It was not her fault. Uh... Um, no... Execute orders. At execute. first, Sarah condemned Francis Saunders the moment she offered him the Wanderer. Yeah, we knew that. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Yeah, Even I see his point. If she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here. Waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. He's one of them, no? You are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. Oh, sir. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny. They say 
But I will change it. Oh, maybe he's a good guy. I will save Sarah. Maybe he infiltrated the, the cult to save Sarah. What is happening? Oh! She got him. Holy shit. Through the freaking throat. Yo. Damn. Oh. It's like Debbie Jones. Ooh. Okay. He's not gonna recover from that. Freaking axe on the back. So is Charles dead? Dead now for reals? Oh, that's cool. So do we believe him that he was actually looking for the best to her? I'm not so sure. <laughs> and if he did, that was a weird way to do it. Chapter 9, Hawkins Mansion. After the death of Colin, Pierce's victim of hallucinations advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles and his wife has revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition. Summon an ancient an evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Holy shit, it's getting serious! Now we're talking about... Oh, that's uh, her son's grave. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt guilt will never go away I feel your pain I'll do anything to get him back anything not that not everything Sorry, not everything my work was what lured me here in the first place it began showing me things should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? <clears throat> ah. I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than He's me. very you owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. Guys, yeah, very possessive and obsessive, no? You're not going anywhere. <clears throat> Yo, what the hell? You are mine. <clears throat> Bro. The kid is like unconscious on the ground, maybe. <clears throat> and then Sarah just left? Damn. Oh, this is Silas. Oh, he saved her. Wow. So he knew all oh, she was alive. What the hell? Is she going to save the kid? That's fucked up. Simon. Come on. It's over now.
every time they show you like more and more like zoomed out the beginning was only the green eye then it was a little bit of a now you can like almost fully see <laughs> more nightmares he can see us i love it i love the portrayal of lovecraft ideas in this game because i would say they are the hardest ones to portray And I think they do a fantastic job at doing that, like keeping it so subtle, even until the very end. But at the same time, still giving you that feeling. That very special, unnerving feeling. Okay, we're back at the mansion. Hello, Bradley. How are you doing, man? How are you, Bradley? <laughs> ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Uh-oh. Have you had any news? Uh... Ah, shit. Guys, what do we do? Do we tell him the truth? Like, I'll, I will tell him the truth if all this shit was not going on, you know? But I don't want to lie to him, man. It sucks. But I don't... We need it. We need Bradley. All right, fuck it. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? She went to I'm Mexico. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> but I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly, it's that slug full of. She was acting I swear I'll under her him. own convictions. What do you say, you know? Pierce? Are you with me? Fuller, yeah, fuck Fuller. What the hell, guys? Fuller will pay the price. It is not for us to decide. His grief clouds his judgment. The nature of the relationship, Mary Collin will have not wanted that. Fuck that shit. Fuller will pay the price. Fuller has committed too many atrocities. He carried out his experiments on Sarah, on me. Is there and now any possibility that Dr. Fuller Cole. is not that bad of a guy? He must die. That the same way we thought he will suffer the fate he Charles. Deserves, I promise you. But we must keep calm. He's not alone. We must identify his accomplices in order to put an end nah, to their Fuller is a bitch. <laughs> if you say there is no so. redemption. But I'm only interested in Fuller. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. You see, this is Sarah why I didn't want to tell him. In danger, as long as the cult is now he's fighting a different cause. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Like, we will get your revenge in time, you know? But not now. I prefer to be alone. Okay. Bye. But I understand his sentiment. Now, Drake and Sarah. I miss Marie already. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront we'll the occult without tell him to help us last chapter. This Press. is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. A bookworm with a pistol. Well, Sarah. That almost killed I will you. be in Charles Hawkins' office. I mean, he he got he just he's got balls, you know. I'll say it's not like a your classic nerd. I right, question Sarah Hawkins. Now this conversation is gonna be importante. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper, cleaner. Yeah. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong, so ancient, enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape I the script, but too. for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce, but I can't come back to Boston with you. Do you feel guilty? We kind of choose that one. Char Hawkins is dead. She knows. <laughs> she, she was there there. There is a cult on dark water. It's because of the wonder. You and Drake are up to something? What? Let's go with this. I saw everything. The tunnels under your house, the rituals, 
the secret society. I must get you out of its reach. I know how <laughs> dangerous they can be Sorry. to me. But first, there's the Wanderer. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe she you has no told you she's not going this there. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. It, it kind of is. You though. would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No, you're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes Pierce, you made. Pierce, chill the fuck out, man. What I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Okay, so we all die. <laughs> There must be a way to fight it. Batagan Cthulhu Rulli. I wonder what happens if you choose this, man. I wish there was a like a quick save, quick reload to see all the all the options, honestly, but yeah. There must be a way to fight it, bro. Are we actually gonna fight the freaking enchambler? Okay, let's go. You've recovered Bug. from yesterday's condition. That must mean you can fight it. Now he's all supportive. Will stop you from relaxing. I love Pierce. He's Algernon bipolar. Algernon a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. Oh, all right. I'll help you. There you go. How quickly to change his mind? All right, let's go through the menus a little bit because we haven't have the time to to level up anything. Or, so we should get. Maybe eloquence is not bad spot. Let's get spot here. We get all the freaking items, and then we need six points for this and this. So doesn't matter. Do we have any any new traumas? Oh, this one is new, I think. Reading the Necronomicon. Abdul Al Hared. Is that the author? That's cool. Trap in madness. This this actually gave me a mental trauma. That jump scare. What the fuck? So cool. Charles Hawkins confronted. Rip. Okay, new characters. We have uh, Oliver Non Drake, Mari Colden, Disease, Sarah Hawkins, updated, and Chart Hawkins, Disease, also updated. New places. We got the Nameless Bookstore and the Riverside Institute. An Ascent. These are cult members upgraded. Look at this. Look at this. The Elder and Sign. Carry with you guys. Protect yourselves. You need it. <laughs> you need it. Hmm. High Priest. Clues. Or we got all this. All right, let's go. So talk to Drake. He knows a way to stop the Shambler or the Wonder, they call him now. Maybe the Shambler is the painting and the Wonder is the beast? I have no idea. Where are you, mate? Is he in the office? Oh, he's here. Hello. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. It's a you. I'm here for her. It's a me. Not you. 
I don't care why you're Bro, here. guys, can you get along? Your like, usefulness is the only thing You're matters. literally on the same side. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask My me intellect? any question regarding the matters that exceed It would be nice grasp. if you said our intellect, but okay. So, that medallion thing we need. He sold the dagger to Sanders, a dimensional shambler. He must have a plan to get rid of it. <clears throat> oh, so Ch Charles was initially looking for that pendant or like collar or whatever to fight the beast. Mm, I'm interested on this one, so this creature, the shadow. He, he must know something more. What is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, oh. she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. Okay, so do you guys remember when the Shambler attacked us? Um, we scratched the painting and it went back. But then Kat, the lady Kat, came inside and we were about to stop ourselves. And she was like, I didn't see anything. Does that mean only the person the, sh uh, the Shambler is affecting can see it? No other one can see it, right? That makes sense because when when Francis died in the hospital, he was like flying and shit, like we could not see anything. So only he could see him. That's crazy. Okay. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid oh, of I want this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. Okay. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of Rie. your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. Mm. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. Wait, that is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I yeah, don't want yeah. you to disappear again. Yeah, yeah. Wait, can I? Oh, this is a hint. Ah, uh, it's you again. Can I talk to him about why did Sarah sold Francis the dagger? Did she knew about the painting? The dagger with a strange sign. Was oh, it, it was you, you who sold it to Francis Sanders? Who's this guy? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger, <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. Did you know its it allowed purpose? allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. Oh, he didn't know about that. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more permanent solution. What about burning the freaking it painting, never mate? come back. No, but it, it already... It. What is the true nature of the This will affect your destiny. I see that you are interested in oh, my shit. precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Al Hazrat. It is the answer to many a question. 
That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given oh. to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Okay. Yeah. That's all I wanted to know. So those dialogues in good time. changed uh, the outcome of the game. So this is a hint of where the freaking amulet is, no? A bust. Boost. Have I seen that somewhere? I saw one, but it was a skeleton, no? Upstairs? Let's keep searching. Eyes open, guys. Eyes open. You see? Tell me. This is clear now. Was it that Sarah's workshop? I don't think so. It might be, no? This way. Oh, there's two one. Two here. Is this the one? No. There's a box there, huh? Mm, I don't know where this is. Downstairs somewhere. not this one either hey do you know where this is <laughs> it's not this one either freak could it be hmm maybe it is on the Wait, what is what if it's on Charles uh office? No, that's where I will hide it at least. <laughs> oh, it's here. Is this one no? Uh what? there's a note inside. Oh. Oh, this is the one I saw before. Sketch of a still life. Uh, concealed by Charles Hawkins. Where have I already seen that? Also, let me check this room. We could never enter this properly without the cinematic. And these paintings are so cool. Really feels like when you're reading the book and you imagine the clay and the artists portraying what they're seeing on their dreams and the voice calling them and stuff. It is this box. Bro, why did you why didn't you open that before? <laughs> Bro, I was that was not even hidden. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. So you say really? He said it differently. I don't know. To... Oh we got it. Ooh. What the fuck? Yo! Was that another prophecy or one of those visions of the future? Uh -huh. Let's go back to Drake. Spoilers! Ah, <laughs> uh, it's you again. Bro, why you sound so disgusted? Give the amulet. I'm giving you shit. I think I've found what we're looking for. I wonder for. if you can keep it. Let me see that. What if you talk yes, to Sarah first? That's it. It's perfect. Or what if you we tell this guy saved. to not help you? But I can't elaborate. Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Yes, do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's so many decisions you have to Oh, she's here. Wait, let me see before we leave this place. Yeah, five points. I'm missing one point to upgrade this. Sanity. Oh. The cost of truth. Holy shit.
That's cool. I got the amulet, Sarah. Let's do it. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Hey. Yes. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley. Let's not be pessimistic. You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. Hey. Oh. Why are his Bradley not dealing with them? He's part of the police, no? I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you. As the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses, how convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. Bro, they're getting me detained? You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. You bet I will. Fuck. Unlucky timing, I guess. How are we gonna help from the freaking jail? Oh, chapter 10, Darkwater Police Station. With the help of Argan and Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that is supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter told him uh, of her desire to track and kill the dimensional shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police. Fuck. Honestly, yeah, sure, the shambler is a threat, but there is a bigger threat than the shambler, no? I feel like the shambler is like a... Like a small piece in this board. But sure. I guess we have to start there because that's the closest threat. That once one once we get rid of that, we can't worry about bigger tr problems. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. Yes. Yeah. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property twice, aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. I'm ready to cooperate with him who seemed like this guy, or truth comes at the cost. He's in no position to lecture me. Ooh. I guess we're accusing Henry to do coercion and shit. To be not a very good cop, you know? Are we ready to... What, guys, what should I choose? I'm gonna... I like this one. <laughs> but that this is kind of admitting we did it, no? Yeah. Fuck it. With all the liquor that is openly on sale in the middle of Prohibition, do you really want me to believe that you're enforcing... Oh, shots fire. Enough of that. You're not gonna tell me how to do my job. I would like to point out that it is you, not me. Who is behind bars? Oh, there are things going on right now that are so much more serious than what you accuse me of. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? Okay, be careful now. Now we need to be really careful with this one. A dangerous cult is at work. What if he knows about it? What if he what if he's part of the cult? Then he's gonna we're gonna get in double trouble. The Hawkins case is far from close. Okay, that's a bit better. Fuller isn't as innocent as he, lo as he looks. Again, what what if he's getting, uh -huh, you know, like a bot by Fuller? No point in wasting my time. Let me go. Guys, this one is this one is very sensitive. I feel like it depends on what you choose here. 
we can get his friend's sheep or we can fuck it up. Honestly, investigation master. You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries Misdirection. out patients are as inhuman he did as with that chair. Are. I don't know chair. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. Uh oh. It would be I'm as getting coerced for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced. They're gonna fucking questions. beat me up if I don't confess I or have what? No doubt about that. Good night. Mr. Welcome Pierce. to justice a century ago, guys. I mean, welcome to justice nowadays in some countries, actually. Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker. We meet. Is that my nickname, the Truth Seeker? Who's there? Yo, we can hear him even awake. Before it was only on dreams. Now we can hear the Leviathan even when awake. What's happening? Yo! Hey! Huh? I am the one men named Leviathan. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge. The one from Plato Books? Which I came to share with you, human. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I can talk to you, man, but not underwater. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak. Or uh, should we give up or should we resist? Struggle, submit, try to speak. Guys, should we just submit? I told you to behave. <laughs> Not your dog. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path. What if what if the Leviathan is trying to help us? No, I'm not sure. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see... Is Sarah the Oracle? Accept the knowledge. Refuse the knowledge. What kind of knowledge? You know, some, sometimes you're better not knowing some stuff. You know when you see something and you cannot unsee it anymore because oh fuck I'm I'm scarred for life. I oh, fuck it. Where is the oracle? Is she not the very This will affect your, your destiny. Oh she I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget. Your fate has already been written. Then why am I choosing anything? Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. What the fuck is going on? Oh, this is Sarah and Drake. Where are they you going? The risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you you may lose more than your life. Sora. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to fight him. The shambler. Guys. I knew it. No. Not again. What the hell? Oh. 
Okay, so we're playing as Sire now. Fine, Drake. Oh shit. Algernon, come back. Where are we even? We're at the coast. Oh, we are at the cold uh, tunnels. Yo. Where is Algernon? And the Shambler. Is that cat? That's the that's the girl. I think it is. What do I do? I'm scared, guys. We're gonna have to fight the fucking beast. No way back. All right. Well, I have a lantern with me. Okay. So this no, maybe this is the hideout of uh, where they get the alcohol and shit. They trade the goodies, you know. How many are there? My hands. I'm safe now, no? I hope so. What is this? It's like an elevator. So there is alcohol. Oh fuck! The painting is there. Why? Why do they have the painting there? Yo, this is dead people, by the way. This guy's dead, dead, or super drunk. <laughs> Probably dead. Okay, where is Drake? Um, let's try to go to where we saw Cat. I'll open that. How do I get up there? Maybe through here? Up here? Why is there so much blood? Oh, there, there he is. Hello? Hey! You can't leave us! Sorry, old friend. But it's either you or me. What a bitch! What are you oh! Is getting fucking destroyed. The beast is within our reach. Hey, how do we kill him? Are you sure you want to do it? Yes. Let's go. Quickly, come with me. Okay. Do you have the amulet, or do I have the amulet, or what do we do? What are you doing? What are you doing? How do we kill it? The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. Yeah, 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 yeah. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Oh. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. Okay. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. Oh. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. Okay, okay, okay. Find and destroy the first, second, and third glyph. Right, where the fuck are the glyphs? The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. On the floor? <laughs> Is that uh, remotely obvious or anything? On the floor. Shit, this that guy scared me. Can I open this? So he went into that hole or one of the holes. I'm scared. I'm scared. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. I'm looking for it, mate. On the floor. 
How does it look? How does the cliff look? Oh. Oh, I see it. The glyph. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry. It's just until I ward it off. Bro. No. The wanderer is back. I cannot move. <laughs> ah! Dude. Oh, you can second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. You can push him back. So I need to keep my oil high. But you can only see the glyph if you have the lantern on. So I'm gonna play super safe. The moment the lamp goes like half, I'm going to refill it. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. Okay, I'm looking for it. Can I see from far? I think it only shines when you're close, you know? Oh, there. Do we have enough oil for this? <laughs> oh! oh, shit. Oh, you can freeze time. Oh, shit, this fast, no? You have the lantern on. Nice, nice. That scared the fuck out of me when he came through there. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. That Scared. is what I'm doing. <laughs> Find the second glyph. Okay, we got it. Where, where, where? Oh! Bro, he spawned next to me. That is bullshit. <laughs> He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try and Oh, I didn't have to destroy the second one yet. Oh shit. He's faster than me, so I have to use the light. Alright, so we got the second glyph. Now. Now for the third. Now is when matters get complicated. I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. Oh shit. You have to lure it in front of me, Sarah. Do you understand? In front of you. Once it goes after you, I need you to guide it towards me. Okay. That is risky. Let's check the third floor for the last glyph. It's the only place where I haven't found any. We're almost there, Sarah. I know. Only one glyph left to find. I know. Where the freak is the last one? Oh man. Oh man. Need to refill. The oh, it's there, no? Near. I'm sure of it. I see something shining there. That's very close to the middle, so that's good. Is it here? Oh, it is here. Okay. Here we go. Oh! Okay, let me move! Oh shit! Oh, he's so fast with the lock. Yo, he's fucking swimming! Get him, Drake! Get him! Well done, Sarah. Oh, it's time we were done with this point. He's like trapping there. Kill him. Get him. What am I supposed to do? Bro, what am I supposed to do? Use the painting.
Oh, he's getting sucked into it. No, he's... He's grabbing him. No. I can hear him. He calls me. No. No. No, I mustn't. Resist. Algernon. Oh, poor Drake. He's... It's too late. Sarah, hold it together. Chapter 11. Darkwater Police Station. Sarah Hawkins, together with Algernon, managed to permanently drive the Dimensional Shambler back at the end of a fierce battle. However, th this feat of strength caused her what was left, left of her self-awareness. She has succumbed to the call of the myth! Oh, she... Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Damn it! Oh, boy. Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear-cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? Everyone's going crazy! Those goddamn idiots. And we're behind bars. Let me out! They sleep. Is it a dream? Truth seeker. Yes. I find you again. Save me. Free me. As promised, I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. As your mind expands and finally understands the true nature of the world, your perceptions change. Like Neo in the Matrix. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? It's like that movie. They leave. What the fuck? Bro, each of these means something different, but I don't know what to pick. She. I wish I knew. Is there any way to know so much of the occult and to gather enough objects to the game to unlock the translation for this? I'm not sure. <sighs> One second, guys. Well, I don't know what I'm picking, so I'm just gonna pick something random. This will affect your destiny. Follow the path of the ultimate truth. Oh! Nah, this is a dream, no? I'm drowning. Got breath! I thought we were in for this new stuff, oh. detective. Fighters. Survivors. I never would have thought you so naive. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. 
They don't have any buddies. The villagers, me. We're all in danger as long as you're alive. It's not my fault, or is it? Yo, what the? Oh! Is this another premonition, or is this like a alternative reality that didn't happen? Why is the painting there? What is happening? What the? I can't go to sleep. I keep having the same dream. Or should I say nightmare? The pain in my chest is as if I was being skewered. It's hard to discern what's happening when you don't know if you're saying anymore. <laughs> you know? Wait, where are we going now? Cat? Dom, what happened? Come, you'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. What? Oh. And left his body in one of our warehouses. Oh. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? We don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. <laughs> I'm in a bad mood. What do you think? Don't punch the one on the right. Punch the one on the left. Strength master, cat, bug. I want to know everything about the corpse over there, or I swear you will meet the same end. Oh. If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. But you what? die now or no. later. Listen, miss. We didn't see what happened, but we heard yeah. uh, noises and talkings. Like we've been betrayed. By whom? Go, look at the body. You'll find out for yourself. Interesting. Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. Yeah, they've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. How do you know they killed him? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Beam. Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the low round here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Who the fuck killed the cop? So how are we gonna find out who killed him by you looking at his body? Huh? Where is his body even? Over here? Um. Oh. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him, 
Reconstruction time! So Kat is a, a detective of her own as well. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? Hmm, that's why all the blood was dragged. Ah. We came from here. Down the stairs. Hmm. Here? So this is where West was killed. What's that? Hold up. What the fuck is that? Where did it come from? It was running from them. So it's, it was a cult member. <sighs> oh, shit. No time for him. He wasn't alone. Who were those guys? What is this? Cigarettes? There's only one man who smokes these gaspers. Fitzroy. Oh! Fitzroy is a cult member. Ah! You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. Oh, she knows. What's going on outside? She know. Oh shit! Yo, what the fuck? Am I dead? Oh damn, I'm dead. Ooh, got him. Next one who comes close gets one in the head. The whole town is going riot mode. Oh, they're going crazy. Maybe they're transforming, you know? What the hell? Dumb. Like a zombie Get apocalypse. Go. I'll cover you. Die, you filthy rat. Oh, shit. Damn it. Okay, chapter 12, boy. Shit, shit's getting crazy. That water police station. Pierce saw Kat's worrying discoveries through her eyes. While she was searching for the murders of a cop, she was attacked by some of the island inhabitants. Pierce has yet to find if she did make it. So are we going back to the to the port? To save her or something? Pierce, wake up. Oh. What happened? Probably's gonna save Take us. Take that weapon, you'll need it. Okay, so we got a pistol now, guys. Uh oh. What? Bradley, not you too. No! Head. You're coming into my head. His eyes. Bradley, damn it. Pull yourself together. Punch him. Slap him. I can't resist any longer. You're stronger than that. The call is behind your condition. This is related to the nightmares where he started Hawkins recent with him. Reason. Come on, bro. We've been working together since I arrived here. You got this. I know you can overcome it. It's too late. I lost Sarah Hawkins. What about Marie? What? I was unable to stop her. What do you mean, unable? She left with the bookseller. They never came back. The doctor. So Sarah is fully transformed into a co into the cold. In the direction it's not Sarah anymore. The whaling station. Damn it! Station. I'm turning, Pierce, into one of those things. I don't want to kill you, man. No, keep fighting it, Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me. Shoot, spare. You guys be saved. Enough killing. Idiot. This will affect your destiny. Oh shit. Now go, you imbecile. Maybe we end this soon enough. He. Can be safe? Oh shit. That might, might have been a mistake. It's like not killing a zombie when he's transforming, you know? Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. Oh shit. Let me see. 
any progress we had so far any points we have 12 points guys maybe we need strength at this point you know <laughs> let's get eloquence oh let me do that let's get that even though it may not be very useful at this point any new traumas the stolen choice stolen choice First dilemma. Oh. So it, it could have been a possibility that this was one outcome, but it didn't happen. Okay. That's cool. No more people. We got a couple more places. The police station and the abandoned mine. Okay, that's it. We got a cult. Let's do it. Who's there? Oh, oh shit. It's my body only. I can't take it. Anymore. Stop. Oh god. What am I doing? Killing people. Killing these motherfuckers. Wait, can I sneak through past them? Because they don't seem to notice me at first. Can I... Ah, they're gonna see me, no? Maybe not. No. Get away. Nah, they're gonna see me for sure. Fuck it! I saved this guy. How did you manage to get out of your cell? Officer Bradley came to free me. <laughs> Bradley and his sense of justice. Where is he? <coughs> he's fine. I left him. I'm sorry, officer. He's gone. He's not ready. Did you? Gone, no? Is it? No. When I left, he was still breathing. Poor guy. I see you're out of bullets. Oh. Take these. Sullivan won't need them anymore. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. How do you know how many bullets you have left? What happens if I run out of bullets? Who's that guy up there? Should I go to Fitzroy? I kind of want to check Fitzroy actually. Hey, yo. Oof. Oof. Hands up. It looks like an old seaway map. Hands up, motherfuckers. Reconstruction? Okay, we're doing detective detective work at this point? At this time of the year? In this time of the day? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So that's Charles, Fitzroy, and Fuller, and this is what they were eating. And when they found me, they ate my flesh. And my flesh granted them powers and revelations. You are getting closer, truth seeker. What? So by eating that... So is that the part of the Leviathan? I'm so confused. The Oh, this is why they had that on the hospital. So he was injecting people with that, and that's what that that's why they were transforming. Huh? Charles was the good guy. 
But maybe he was confused about his methods. He didn't realize Pierce was the solution. So these are a high rank. Motherfucking fit truck. You need a truth seeker. Someone with exceptional sensitivity to his dreams. This gift will lead him to this island. As I am the Oracle, I speak for him. This is before that her father contacted this. But that is his. Him. What has she done? So she knew before. I'm not dying in this rat hole. Huh? Come on. Are you here? If I find him. Notes from Fitzroy has destroyed all the ways off the island. Oh shit! No one can escape. Cat? Oh, she's here. Oh, she's so fucked up. What are you still doing here, detective? I need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. Okay, should we help her? After how about how she treated us? What happened? You were chasing Fitzroy, but now you're here, injured. How do you know? There were too many. Got us. If I don't get Take the harpoon next uh, to you. The bleeding. I I'm a goner. Okay, okay. Wait for me. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. Okay, where do I find Hurry that? Up. I won't last long. Make a bandage. Tur tourniquet. Okay, heal cat. Main objective. It's not. It's not a secondary objective, by the way, guys. And she said uh, she has something for us. Where the fuck do I find a med kit? I don't know, mate. I don't know, mate. She killed all these people, I think, on the entrance. Yeah. She's a baddie. Hey. Oof. Do I have enough bullets? Who's there? To kill everyone? Maybe I should stealth. So there is a. Uh... Oh. You'll get me. How many died because of this madness? Let's take a nap, guys. This is okay. A med kit. Oh, shit. Ow. Ooh. Got him. Hey, yo, do you have a med kit? Are you drunk, sir? Oh, this is locked. Oh, maybe over here? Oh, there's someone there. Oh, shit. Got him. Can I lock pick? Uh... Shit. No game in. Oh, Roy Mitchell, the guy from the bar. Can't leave the damn island, huh? Come on, get up. Are you? Are you... I must go to the whaling station. I'll help you get there if you bring me something to fix this. Oh problem. no. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. Oh no, oh, guys. Quick. I'm dying. Heal Mitchell. I think. I don't think I'm gonna find two medkits. 
It looks like St. Brendan's critics finally got him. Probably the cult's work. So we have to choose who to heal? That is fucked up. Oh. Over here? Hey. You too? Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, this stuff's Do you have any first aid kits? I don't know where to find the first aid kit. Maybe on the warehouse. Hmm. There was. I'm gonna avoid that guy. Ah. Uh... I have no idea, guys. Is there anything here? Anything inside this? Nope. This is closed. Oh, we can open it. Hmm. Okay, who should we save? Mitchell or Cat? Hey you! Come on. They got the boss. Nasty wound. Yeah, I saw her. I wanted to get her the first aid kit. Oh, maybe it's here. Warehouse. Maybe it's here, maybe it's here. But there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I got it. I'll see what I can do. I will fucking shoot him. So the medkit is here. Let's be careful. There's one guy inside. Ah! To the fuck out, bro! Oof. Only one? Oh, we got this. Woo! One first aid kit. Two wounded people. Who deserves it? Guys. I don't know. I feel a cat is more important. Even though she's been a freaking asshole to us. You know, go slow. They, they close this, no? Oh fuck. Shit. They're going to the whaling station. The cult set her hide and wait until they're gone. Are they gone? Oh. He didn't see me, but he's gonna see me. Correct. I just don't want the other guys to see me. Cannot go down through there. Let's try to sneak. Holy one, two. Two here so far. Who's there? No one. You didn't see me? That's crazy, no? That is crazy. I run next to him. Oh man, the game is so laggy here. Ah, how do you hear me? me alone. I'm leaving you alone. You leave me alone. There you go. go. Get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. Okay, what you got? Here, take it. Right. The entrance to the whaling station is behind the Hawkins warehouse. Okay. What does less key? What is that for? Bro, game is so laggy here. What the fuck? What's that key for? What door did we find that was closed? Let me see. Uh, clues? 
inventory. Hand me that key. Opens the gate to a passage hidden inside the bottom of the territory. From there, I should be able to reach the welling station. So behind the behind the warehouse or this somewhere else. Bro, the FPS is done in this section of the game. What the fuck? I don't even know what territory is which, you know? Fuck it, I'm just going for it. She said behind the warehouse, so I'm gonna guess it's somewhere around here. Oh, this guy's fucking dead. Hope his boss will have more luck. Maybe he's there, actually. What is that door? How do I how do I enter that? I'm not through here. Maybe it's on the other side with those two guys at garden. Should I go through there? We got the key at the uh, after all, no? Let's go this way then. Okay. I'm running low on there's a guy there, shit. Oh, is it? Is it for this? Oh, the key is for this. Okay. Reach the wall and station. How? Where? Is this way? Hmm. I don't know where to go. Maybe it is this way then. one guy there okay no way back stealth time I don't know where the entrance is. Oh. Probably past this guy. The welding station is that big villain on the background, I feel like. Where did it go? risky I went too late I thought I was gonna stop there should not see me here no we're close one more turn there we go oh shit there's more people here oh shit it's gonna see me Oh, this is a good hiding spot. Sorry for my FPS. It's like this part of the game is super. The fuck? Like, oh, this guy's there. That guy. Empty. Oh shit! I had no more bullets. Guys. Ah, oh, more bullets. Oh. Sheep. 
Do I have run from that guy? It's happening. It's happening. Nowhere to go. There was that guy coming this way. Uh, here maybe. What is this guy? Can I have more bullets, please? Let's go up here. Maybe this is the station, and we just finish this section. Oh, did this? I died like. Once or twice with cat, but that's okay. Chapter 12, 13. <laughs> Abandoned wedding station. Peers crossed the docks where all acquaintances and new faces made their ends. All over the place, Leviathan slaves were wandering in search of a victim. After finding his way through, and after discovering the truth about the origin of the cult and his founders, Pierce finally reached the wedding station. He hopes to catch. Sarah Hawkins before she does something bad. So the founders were Charles, Fitzroy, and Fuller, and Sarah, I guess, as well. Guys, we're getting very close to the end. Hither. Sarah is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. Find Sarah Hawkins, get into the main room. We saw that door in one of our dreams, no? Locked. Yikes. At least there, there's no more enemies here, I think, right? This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Oh, so we pull it and throw it there. Let's try that. First, we need either a rope or a hook or both. Or oh, <laughs> a rope and a hook. And that was Could obvious. Use that to hold the reservoir back. That was kind of obvious, guys. Is there anything else around? Some red! Freaking red! Red! Let me for you. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice oil. I needed that. What is that? Are they there performing their ritual? What are they doing? I hear some chunts. Is this open? Hidden object somewhere. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Volume five. Is that it? Oh. Looks like a page from a log from 1847. This is the this looks like the navigation crew diary. The Miraculous Catch. You guys remember when we read that at, at Charles' office? 14, 1847. We're starving. So maybe he knew. Maybe he was not looking for a whale, he was looking for something else. <laughs> Another hidden object here. Office key. What is the hidden object? Ooh. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. Damn. Damn. 
The freaking Kraken! Okay, let me go up here. I'm not sure if the key is for this. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. But a fucking knife. Ooh. It mentions the Leviathan. How it drove the sailors mad. Where does it mention the Leviathan? Nowhere! <laughs> My guy! Wait, that was lock 3. Lock 4. Where is lock 3? I'm missing one page of the diary. Doesn't work. I must be missing one page. I should have pay attention to the. This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. Wait, first we put it. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. I got the knife, mate. Oh! Boom! I'm back, bitches. Try to see if I find the the item before we go. What is page number three? This one we already found it. This one too. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's ahead. Is that the great catch? What the fuck is that thing? Oh, look at it. No. No. Oh, the creature been seen. It's linked by its dreams to the one who sleeps. Stellar larva. That's it. There is no greater predator on earth, and yet this being that feeds on huge creatures will never directly attack men. It will instill fear, the dreams of really, and finally madness into the minds of those it chooses to serve its designs. Curse are those who cross its path, and more cursed still those who hear its voice, because for them, no salvation in death. Extract taken from the Necronomicon. Oh. Voice. You're the Leviathan. Oh! Is that Sara? He's there. No? I think we have to go, guys. Otherwise, look at that thing. Oh, shit. Oh, what is this? Can you believe? Hey, yo! Sarah? This is my office. Yep. Hello. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. That's me, no? Who's there? Your stubbornness. Wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments, one is always alone. 
You can't escape it forever. It will always it's like, find its way. It's truth. Damn it. Are we truth? Oh shit. What am I supposed to do? Stop banging on my door! You gonna pay for it? Oh shit. Back at this station. Everything points back to the day they brought in that thing. Sea Light Crew, 1847. And all these guys are there, same age and everything, so they don't age. Because they are eating the meat, it's keeping them immortal. Like Fuller said on that flashback, you know? like he was extracting the serum. He was like, he was talking about his healing properties. While the sailors were going insane, Fitzroy and the mutineers took over the ship and probably killed the captain. Damn, so this is lock three. Oh. Yeah. Please don't An old log. Captain Hammondstone logbook. Holy. Belonging oh, to the she... captain of the Scylla. The pages I found seem to be the missing ones. Excision of the Madness Stone. Oh. <laughs> Leviathan. You can actually read that, but it's kind of silly that you cannot like inspect it, but you can kind of make up the the words. This fascinating creature possesses incredible regeneration capabilities. The consumption of some part of its body provokes various effects on humans, depending on the part ingested. Whenever a part of the creature's body is injured or even completely removed, it it something starts healing. Immediately starts healing. You see, like it's interesting to read that, but I wish you could read it as in a, like a text, you know. But whatever. Let's get to Sarah. What the fuck? Look at it. Ooh. So they are cutting parts of it and eating it and it keeps regenerating and they keep cutting it and eating it and they become the cult and everyone starts transforming and everything gets eat his flesh while he's still alive yes cannibals of the leviathan okay now we know what's going on what the fuck is the point of this room I can lock pick that shit. I'm an expert. Perfect. Perfect. I guess you can go around, huh? not even really with you well to be perfectly precise i am with you but not in this cell what have you done to me me nothing really see it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature <sighs> leviathan i see you already know about it well shall we begin Began with what? 
What the hell? So either I take this or I take this. No, there is no other option. What if I don't take it? Guess me. Maybe they collected the Leviathan's forts and they are gassing us with them. Fucking hell. Do not take the treatment. Take the treatment. Nah, bro. This will affect your destiny. Like, he's taking it anyways. Nice. <laughs> Cannot resist anymore. Oh, they are eating that sheep, bro. What the fuck? I'm not eating that. I am not eating that thing. I refuse. Is there any other option? Guys, do I have to do it? It's mandatory. Ooh. Do not eat the meat. No. Come on, Pierce, resist. Ooh. Let me take a sample from you. Flesh, blood. Spinal fluids. You need a poopoo? -poo? Don't fear. I created the mythological eye core from Leviathan's flesh. Who knows what I can make with you? I need your body for my research. That sounds very wrong. <laughs> oh shit. Take the gun, do not take the gun. In this madness mode that we're going through, I would rather not mistakenly shoot something, you know? At the same time, I have to stop him! Fuck, I don't know what to do. What if I end up shooting myself or something? This will affect your destiny. You see, like... Not a good idea. Ooh. Killed him. Oh shit, that was real. A necessary sacrifice that proves your determination. Is that still alive, Luke? He's freaking moving, he's breathing. Yo, this is crazy. Oh. Find the truth and be free. Uh, what? I was supposed to know which door. Oh, this door is different, no? Huh? Maybe it's just because I'm far. Oh, it's different. Wait, is it different? All of them are fake is except for that one. It's an illusion. It's a trick of the mind. The plate is like a damn fiddle. Is that is that door? Fake too. That door is also real. Which one should we go through? I'm gonna go through this one. Yeah. No. Huh? This is strippy. What is this? Nothing's happening. Do I need to feel that somehow? Yeah, let's do it. The geometry, impossible geometry. Wait. Oh, look, some of those are fake. <laughs> I walked backwards. I fell. I thought. The game will prevent me from that. So, which one is the real one? Oh, I have to see where to walk through. Okay. Oh, this is cool. So, we go this way, take a right, another right here. I'm not sure which one is real here. Okay. 
Ooh, puzzle. Huh? I'm back here. What about this one? What about... I'm not supposed to know which one to put. Oh, okay. I have to look at the pipes, guys. Which one connects? And then I have to turn the right one. Damn, okay. Holy shit. That's hard, no? Okay, it's that one with the red light. But obviously. Then it's this one. How do I know if I'm right or not? Oh, there you go. That didn't happen with the other one. So that means I got the other one wrong. Okay, I didn't notice the pipes. So, which one is this? This one is... Let's see shit. Right, I can see. It's the one. Okay. Without the cylinders, no? I don't know actually. They all go to the middle, so that one looks fake. I think it's this one. There you go, we got it. Oh now we can go back through here. Should we turn on now? Let's try. Oh! Oh, shoot! Time to run! Uh... All the oil is exploding. Oh! Go Pierce! Oh shit. Crouch! Crouch! Go around. No crouching. Get out! I don't know where to go. Oh! Fitzroy. Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. I won't go without a fight. You think you're here of your own accord? Ah! Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head. I 
have for all these choices. Your attempts to free yourself from destiny. But it is unavoidable. And as I predicted, you have come to free me. What? Awaken and call him. What? Holy. Chapter 14. I think this is the last chapter. Coastal Cave. Pierce finally met Leviathan in flesh and blood. The monstrous creature submitted him to a series of ordeals, at the end of which he decided that the detective was ready to face his destiny. Pierce blew up the walling station and after a final confrontation with the Leviathan, he passed out. Jeez. That cinematic is so good. I love it. Oh boy. We still have an important choice to make and I'm not sure what I'm going to decide when the time comes, you know? So, I'm nervous. Whew. Keep it together, man. He looks so bad. Holy shit. I mean, he's going through so much. Don't blame him. The voice. I can't hear the voice anymore. We won! Dale, who's that? I don't have one lamp, I don't have my pistol, I don't have anything. I'm so fucked. What is that, by the way? Is that fire? Maybe that's from the explosion that just happened, no? At the well station. And the water truck that's here. You are trapped. Oosh. Is that like a part of us? Truth. All right. My God. This way. Stand up. Walk. Does this sounds very similar to our voice? So. Maybe that's the part of us that the Leviathan want this to do maybe is somebody the, there is the right hey, thing to do who are you can uh know anymore what is right and what is not what is happening why is there so many like links uh, where am i What is this? To our fallen crew members. They have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed all the survivors of the miraculous catch. Mm. But not Fitzroy. Oh, look at this. The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. Oh, I didn't know that. That changes everything. Okay, that is interesting. What is that a painting?
It will soon be time, Edward Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. What are you doing here? You are an illusion or the dark tongue. Fuck it! What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist Is it because on she the truth when it's right there in regenerated with the Leviathan? Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. I don't understand. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Ford. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived I can to see choose my destiny! But you? Yes. It is your destiny. Spare me your fairy tales. You're mistaken. This will affect I your destiny. No more in destiny than I do in vampires, gods, and their female prophets. Oh, well done. That will really impress her. Again, this denial. It doesn't matter anymore. Embrace it, guys. The future is now but an Embrace image the that truth. Sarah Hawkins Cthulhu. is is our Why lord go and join the her, savior you who believe in nothing and then you'll see it's all a matter of perspective you'll see that there are truths so powerful so overwhelming that even a mind as narrow as yours cannot withstand that sounds like it came out truth? of love press mouth that quote what is your role in this story i must take you to sarah hawkins our oracle Fuck it, I'm going for it. Sarah, I feel her calling me. Uh oh. Let us not wait. Uh oh, we're collaborating. Not I don't yet. like this. You have one last thing to accomplish. No, please. I can't do it. The voices. Do you understand what it is? The voices in my head. She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about. What's our last task? No. No. No one. Neither them, nor you. <laughs> this poor guy. Imagine being in his situation. Resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. Oh, what does that mean? Is he does he still have a fight in him or is he what happened? To give me? it up. Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. Okay. Bro, this fucking painting, mate. Hold on, what's down here? I'm not going to Sarah, I'm going away, I'm going home. Maybe this is the way I have to actually. Not sure. There was a stairs back there. So I don't know anymore. Maybe, maybe this is the way I have to go actually.
Alabaster Point. After a final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabaster Point, where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There, he must make decisions that could change the destiny of the world. Oh. Let's go. Hey. This is it, guys. This is it. Oh, that's the place we've been seeing on the paintings, huh? All the cold members are there. Holy shit. Now this is Lovecraft well depicted. This is how you do it, guys. What have they done to me? Come on. Oh. Oh. Mr. Pierce, I was expecting you. Fuller, you died in front of my eyes. It's not real, Don't Pierce. Jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. Shut up. Oh! Did you see a freaking tentacle shadow? Oh, that's so creepy. What the fuck? Never. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. Oh. And I will. I will choose. I choose you, Pikachu! No, I'm just kidding. Oh, Charles. I feel they should have cut these interruptions. Just go straight to the point. You took everything from me. Wife. I didn't do she, wife. bro. Destiny. You first took your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity, no one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, you shows that. my family, my own flesh. So Why didn't Sarah choose me? Oh. Why is it your He's jealous. face on her painting? We're the truth seeker and not him. Got him! Sheesh, Edward. Damn. But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. Will I? I don't know. I don't know. Your fear of 
The unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not coward. I feel truth is actually a lie trying to disguise his truth. Trust your reality. If nothing's real, what are you? I'm a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your oh. tired mind. Oh. Okay. That that helped me decide what I'm gonna choose. If I can, though, because I think you need prerequisites to choose whatever. Holy! Now that is cosmic horror in a video fucking game. Damn! The music, the graphics, all the story that is happening. Here we go, guys. We're almost there. We're almost there. The stars are calling our. I'm almost there. Holy. Holy. Here you are at last, truth seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover, but I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Are you crazy? You are lost. Occult is a master, damn. I wonder if this is good to like convince her that she's doing the wrong thing. And then every time we do this, it's bad for us. No, there was one time that was good. And then the other time was bad. It was 50-50. Why can I go over it? I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man. One man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are. A truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes! Yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, Painted on the canvas of fate. Ooh, the dagger. Oh, this is why it's on the vision. 
It's over. I'll perform the ritual. Guys! Fucking stop it! I can't let you do this. Oh. What? No one can force you. What's she doing? I mean, she... GG's! Dedicated to the founder of the Kelsey and the Grand Shaman of Gaming, Graves Stafford. GG's, guys! Alright, so that is one of the endings. I think there is a total of three endings. But if you guys saw there... I could only choose two. I think to get the third ending, you had to do specific things. I remember getting it, but I forgot what I had, you had to do. It's been years since I got that. So yeah, there you go, Call of Cthulhu. Now, the other ending is if you do the ritual, obviously. <laughs> it's very cool to see, even though I don't think it's the right choice, but we're gonna watch it after the credits, okay? So let's review the game now. I'll say I enjoy this game because I understand if you are a lot into action, you want like more stuff happening. But I enjoy the the slow pace, the detective talking with one person, talking to the other, having these options through the dialogues. And then here and there, you get some action, you get some like the Shambler, especially the two, three uh, chapters with the Shambler are super cool. And then there is also two chapters or three that are more like stealth, sneaking around the hospital, the the police station and stuff. I don't know. I enjoyed all those sections. And while all that is happening, uh, the constant narrative uh, implications of Pierce, Sarah, everything is so cool. I feel like it's so well put together. And I love all. There is so many references to Lovecraft and close authors as well not only lovecraft but as you can see there there is a lot of calls to other uh like the necronomicon or like the all the other books you find through the game uh really messy stuff really like the bestiarium and all the stuff i don't know i really enjoy that from this game you can get to know a lot of stuff that may make you make may make you interested and curious about all the stuff and it may be the the seed to plan there and to make the player interested into getting into all these uh, mythos, which is amazing. I will say I'm not an expert myself, but I have read, I'll say, about the those end of Lovecraft books and stuff. So I know some stuff, I'll say. So yeah. Uh, gameplay wise, sure, is a bit limited. When you saw there the the gun gameplay, at least you get to shoot in the game. Sure, it's very clunky, it's like, yeah, but I think it serves it serves the purpose to push the, the story, which is what I wanted, you know? Um, so, yeah. Uh, the, the graphics, the performance, and the, 
the animations are a bit clanky, are a bit left to desire, I would say. They, they can be improved, but I think when they made this game, they were a few years into it. Oh, have I ever seen this ending? I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> but I will consider this the good, happy ending. Maybe. There's a painting there. Oh, shit. Did the Pierce actually manage to escape all of that and become sane again after knowing all what he knows? A tough pill to swallow, you know? But the painter is that. <laughs> he doesn't look too good. Oh, shit. Oh, that's Sarah dead. So, she knew about that? Damn. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I never saw that ending, actually. That's cool. Well, let's try to get the other one. Okay. So, this time, we're back here at the last choice. We're going to perform the ritual. Let's do it. I'll translate that in a moment. That's so cool. That's it. That is the all you're gonna see of Cthulhu in the game. That, that that's enough. Oh, and that's so cool. So there's the second ending. Let's look for the third one. Wait, anything post credits? Hold up. They're going mad. Everyone's going mad. They try to lag in the book. So that quote that they repeat all the time means something as in 
in his home, really, which is where Cthulhu is sleeping. It's like his city under the sea. He, he rests sleeping until he hears the call, something like that. That's what it means. So they keep repeating that. Damn. And this is what we saw in our vision. She dies no matter what. I'm calm. Alright, so these are the other endings. There is four apparently. We went through two. Uh, this video is by Pillage Idiot. Thank you so much. We're gonna watch your recorded endings. So in this ending, Drake is alive and he's there. So I guess at some point of the game you have to save him before the Chandler gets him. I like to see it painted on the canvas of fate. Oh. So I'm guessing Drake also wants to stop the ritual, right? He's on our side. Okay, let's bring in the dagger. So he leaves the dagger. Oh, he hasn't shows anything yet. Oh, now you have to choose. Perform the counter ritual. Oh, he shot Fitzroy. What are they doing? Boys. Oh, this is what we saw in another vision, no? So does that make Pierce not be the, the chosen one anymore? What the fuck? He absorbed all the paint. So I think in that oh this is the hospital. Uh, is this fuller? We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. So he Good. thank you. Fuller. I guess he kept all the insanity inside him. Like a recluded. Yeah, okay. But he sacrificed himself in a way, you know? Oh, whoa, whoa. okay, so this is the last ending. For this one, you need 
occultism master and then you choose the you are lost option which was which was locked for us okay so what happens this her husband was right her husband was right facing the dimensional shambler was too much for your shattered mind even though you're lost we might still save the world oh so maybe she you will decide one man one comes man back to be insane trials and revelations holds the power like we save sarah because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Yeah. Because it was written, or All this is as the I same. like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me. Okay, now what? Sacrifice oneself. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is the one to sacrifice yourself. Oh, shit. This fucking sepuku. Oh. Well, you guys were rather dead or on a freaking asylum. Madness over 9,000. Damn. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it was foreseen. I mean, she can make freaking thousand paintings, no? And then, okay, that was cool. I enjoyed that. Uh, to just close the game and my speech, <laughs> my review. I think this game has a lot of misses and then it has a lot of hits. Yes, it's very unbalanced. You know, it does a lot of things well and then other things not that much. If you polish those bad things, this game will be easily an 8 or 9. It will be a really good uh, horror game. But having those stuff, I can agree more. I, I will give it like a very high 7, like a 7.6 or something, but still. 7 out of 10, Call of Cthulhu. Really had a good time with this. I just love ever anything Lovecraft related. It's just mind blowing to come to, to all these ideas of these creatures and the horror they produce in our minds is unmeasurable. But yeah, I hope you guys, you guys have a good time. Have uh, see you next time, guys. Have a good day. And bye bye.